Two candidates from Portsmouth City Council are suing the Electoral Board. Former Councilwoman Elizabeth Simmons and Paul Smith are asking a court to reverse a decision that's keeping them off the ballot because of a mix-up over that filing deadline. Ten on your side's Ava Hurdle. Talk with attorneys involved in this case. Ava. Tom, both Simmons and Smith filed before June 12th. That's the day state and local officials claimed was the deadline. But a city charter revision last year makes the date one week earlier. Before voters even go to the polls in November, a cloud hangs over the election for Portsmouth City Council. Different dates for the filing deadline in the city charter and the state. An attorney for candidates Elizabeth Simmons and Paul Smith filed a lawsuit and wants the city charter revision declared void and unenforceable. Uh, Ms. Simmons and Mr. Smith followed all the rules. Uh, all of the information put out by the state board and by the registrar indicated that the filing deadline was the second Tuesday in June. Um, it seems to us there's an obvious error. Attorney Brian Mills said the candidates are not seeking any monetary damages, but fundamental fairness. And secondly, we're asking for a temporary and permanent injunction uh, that the court will direct the electoral board to certify Ms. Simmons and Mr. Smith uh, as candidates for the November election. Well, you know, we've done a lot of legal research. To try City to Councilman exactly Steve Heretic, who's also representing Seamus and Smith, has this view. I don't want anyone to look at this type of loophole and say, wait a minute, you know, it's not fair, it's not handled properly, it's not handled fairly. We want to make the same law applicable to all candidates and may the best man or woman win. We'll have to wait and see if Simmons and Smith's names appear on the November election ballot. Now, City Councilman Steve Heretic asked the Commonwealth's attorney about a possible conflict in representing Simmons and Smith as co-counsel, but was given the okay to do so. Meantime, this lawsuit could go before a judge as early as next month. I'm Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.